next exercise is the double leg circle. So we're going to use the obliques quite a bit. So, and we're going to be in the lifted chest lift position. So lift the chest up. Both legs are straight. So lift as high as you can. Head comfortable in the hands. And then on the inhale, we're going to circle. Doesn't have to be big. Don't go too low. Exhale up. So six to the one side, six to the other side. And inhale, exhale up, three, elbows back, exhale up, exhale up, two more, exhale, try and lift the upper body, last one, exhale, lift six to the other side, inhale, just where you feel comfortable with the circles. So try not to lift too much of the hips. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Three to go, exhale, up. Exhale, up, last one. Exhale, lift, it will done. And bring the legs in and down and just relax a little bit. Stretch a bit side to side, relax the head. And over to the other side. Good, we'll give the upper abs a little bit of a break. And then go on to the legs and the lower abs. So we're going to do the leg beats. So I want you to push your elbows again into the side, into the mat. So just activate between your shoulder blades. The neck must be relaxed and then the four beats and then on the inhale we open up. Good, so exhale, inhale open, just a slight push of the elbows into the mat, relax the neck and four. Squeeze straight legs, squeeze those inner thighs, six, open, and seven. Squeeze the inner thighs, nice, open, last one, elbows in the floor, and open, inhale, and together, and back, well done. I want you to put one foot on the floor, and the other foot on the knee, external rotation in the hip, hands behind the head, and just relax in that stretch. You can bounce that knee a little bit. Keep the abdominal slightly activated just to support that lower back. Good. And bring the leg up, switch sides, foot on the knee and relax that hip. And just bounce into that stretch a bit. Keep the abdominal slightly activated. Well done. Okay, so our next exercise is the rolling, and then uh, we're going to do four or five, and then we're going to stay in the balance position, in the sitting position. Good, so remember where you breathe as you feel comfortable. Some will make, feel it, make it easier if you exhale on the left or maybe on the inner. So do what you feel comfortable and give it a few tries. So inner, lift the head up, arms up. Exhale, try through the nose breathing. Take it up and inner and slowly roll it down. And try and get this a little bit slower. Slower, resist the gravity and all the way down. Inner. Arms up, head up, and exhale. Through the nose, sit up straight, inhale, and slowly lower again. Slowly, 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 relax the shoulders. Good. Let's go. About two and a half. Inhale up, lift the head, exhale, relax. Engage your core, and sit up straight, inhale. And slowly lower again, take your time, take your time, take it back, keep that core activated, keep the core, focus on the core, 
Well done. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the head, exhale. Inhale, up again, and exhale. Try the nose breathing as far as you can. Resist, resist, especially that last bit. Do it last one up, inhale, arms up, lift the head up, and exhale. Good, and sit up straight, feet flex, and you're just going to pulse it forward and back. And forward, tight abdominals, and exhale. Inhale back, and three more. Inhale, and two. And last one. And back, excellent. Okay, so our back support. Position of the hands doesn't matter when you feel comfortable and you're just gonna do two, gonna do two and hold it for six counts. Okay, but I'm gonna bend the knees are soft, elbows are soft. So inhale and on the exhale, just lift the buttocks as high as you can, shoulder blades back. You can look around, engage your uh, glutes, so keep it activated, elbows slightly soft. And uh, good, just one more. You know, and exhale. Lift, and you can breathe normally here. Elbows slightly soft, tight glutes. Lift it up, just open up the chest a bit, shoulder blades together, tight glutes, and relax. Hold well up, and just shake it out. Okay, so we're onto the side. Arm extended and bottom leg is 90 degrees and the top leg is straight. So we're going to do a three variation with the toes a little bit turned inwards. Hips are stacked so don't move the hips around, keep those hips tight. And we're going to do a lift up and down and then full circles, three to the one side, three to the other side and then internal external rotation and try and stay in line with the bottom leg. Good, so relax, you're on your ribs, tight abdominals, relax the shoulders and down and exhale, lift, exhale, lift, keep those abdominals activated, your side glutes and four, just six of each and five, and six, good, our circles, so circle three, and breathe normally, and three, circle the other way, keep those hips still, good, now in rotation, external, internal, and back, we're almost there, three, and two, and last one, and back all the and relax. You can rub it out also. Now keep the top leg lifted, knee up, and we're going to do the inner thigh. So straight leg, hips are slightly back, and we lift up and up. And tight abdominals and down, try and relax the upper body. Exhale, lift and lift. Pull the abdominals in, try and stabilize this leg. So push that foot into the floor. Got two to go, straight leg and lift. Now also just bend and extend. Exhale, two, three, tight glute, foot in the mat, four, exhale, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Good. Let's do our side stretch. So arms in front, chin is down, inhale, and on the exhale, open up, or on the inhale, wherever you feel comfortable. Relax the shoulders, relax the side, relax the hips, and you can follow your head with your head. So just look back. Good. Inhale. And on the exhale, bring the arm back again. Gonna do one more inhale. And exhale.
exhale, open up. Keep the tummy in on the rotation just to support. Turn your head to the back. Relax the neck, relax the shoulder, relax the side and everything else. Nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, back again. And you can stay there a bit longer if you feel like it. Good, we're going to push it up and then we're going to go over to the other side. So again, the bottom leg is 90 degree, bottom arm is straight and your top leg is also straight. So relax, get the ears open, shoulders away from the ears and that foot is straight and try and stack the hips. You're on your side on the ribs and six combination of three. So inhale down, exhale lift. And don't push too hard here, lift. Relax the shoulder, keep the tummy activated. Four, exhale, five, outside plates, hips are working, six. Good, our circles, two, and three, reverse to the other side, one, two, and three, internal rotation, external, toes up, toes in, toes out, toes up, four, get the hips still, Five and six, well done. And bend that leg, and you can take this knee up and straighten the bottom one. Knees and um, hips are slightly to the back, and abs are activated. Inhale and on the exhale, lift. Feel it in the inner thigh, the knee is tight or locked, and the back foot is. Firmly into the mat and four, exhale and activate your blood at the back as well. Five and six, exhale, seven and I keep it lifted, bend and straighten. Two, three, exhale, four, five, six, seven. And all done. And drop. And then bring both legs forward. Bring the arm forward. Head is down. Everything 90 degrees. Relax the shoulders. Inhale. And on the exhale, pull the tummy in. Support the back on the rotation. Follow your hand with your head. And relax in the stretch. Shoulders relaxed. Your side and your the hips relaxed, inhale and exhale, bring the arm back again, good, and one more inhale and exhale, one more stretch this side, open up, follow your head with your head, relax, shoulder, hip and side, relax the back, and big inhale, and exhale, bring that arm back. 